Hello there, mortals. I am Jensen, and welcome to Rental. Have you ever been in a position where you've had to rent a property from somebody and it just turns out to be a really, really creepy, dingy, cold environment? Only three walls surround you. There's half a window. There's breeze coming in. Everything's frozen. That is basically uh, the state of the world that I live in down in Dunedin, New Zealand. also allows you to simulate that in case you don't want to move to Dunedin, New Zealand and live it for yourself. I don't know anything about this game other than that it looks really interesting. I got this on Steam, it's free. Ooh. Kind of like Animal Crossing Little Aesthetics, right? Now this game is going to be spooky, I think. How do we interact? Space. Ah, good old Suzuki Carry. Okay. What about the rest of these bunnies? Hello? The door's open! Got the rental man already be here? Said mom. Did you wanna play with me? Said bro. No. Said I. Umi. I am Umi. What do you think, Umi? It's not too shabby. Well, this guy's lived in a bunch of dingy pits. Oh, I just got an achievement for speaking to all of my family. God, I wish I could do that in real life. Thank you, video games. I shouldn't stray too far. Okay, we'll come back around here. Look at this gigantic tree. I've never seen a square tree also be a triangle before. That is very impressive, actually. I gotta give credit to the developers where credit is due, right? Okay, let's go in here. It looks like a pretty standard Dunedin flat, to be honest. What is in here? Let's see. Who closed the door? Hey, open up! But I'm the one inside. It won't open? Did our family do this? I should find that dental. Rental? Rental man. Dental man? What do you mean dental man? Oh. Oh, we can actually explore. This is very Resident Evil. I should find that dental. Rental? Rental man. This is a couch. It seems as though it is made of meat and we are on it. We've fallen off of it. I should find that dental rental rental man. Okay. Let's go ahead and find the dental rental rental man. Oh, hello there, sir. What are you doing in this room? You! Did you come from the outside? I've been trapped here for weeks! Months! I don't even know anymore! Uh, I need to get the keys. My parents are... Forget about your parents! You'll never see them again anyway! Unless... Unless what? You'll have to perform a ritual to exercise this accursed place! Yes, that's it! I can't do it myself, of course! I'm just some helpless rental man! <laughs> But you, you're a little girl. Who else could do it better? I... You just need to find the artifact. It's, um... Let me see. Six crosses. A woman behind bars. Some angry man. No, not me. Three candles. And then... Whoa. Wait, I think you should know. There appears to be a secret room somewhere in here. I don't know how to summon it, but some of the stuff is probably there. Good luck! Uh... Yeah, I'm made of questions. Wish I could sleep on a bed this big. Well, you can actually, if this is your... What was that? I heard something. Oh, that's us. That's our feet. There's nothing in the drawer. Okay! What's on TV? Wonder if 90DF is on. But the TV looks kind of fuzzy. Yeah, it's a CRT TV. Okay, what's through here? There's something in the drawer. I found a key! Thank guys, I like. We'll start strip mining this house like we're playing Minecraft. What is this thing? The table is floating! Fair enough. <laughs> now that's what I call horror logic. No problem here. Okay. What about this couch? There's always stuff between the cushions. Found a candle! That's one of three down. Nice. Ugh, this texture looks so meaty. <laughs> that's what I said right at the start of the game. Seems as though it is made of... Me? I don't think I've uh, played such a self-aware horror in a long time. What's in here? Oh! Found two candles. That's all three candles that we needed. Very cash money. Very Gucci, one might say. There's also a little bit of latency with the sound effects. I feel like maybe... There's either silence right at the start of the sound effects in the game files, or perhaps... The... I don't feel so well. Oh, there is something in the bathtub! Oh! Uh! Not the time for a hot bath. Why not? What about a pee? I'd rather not. Really? Okay, pee. Gotta wash my hands. That actually gave me a little bit of a jump scare. What is this? There's a man, but he doesn't look angry. 
There's a woman, but she's not behind bars. There's some ugly kid, too. Ew! Ugly children! Clothes, clothes. Ah, a cross thingy. Great. I've found a cross. What is this? Oh, what is that? Feels like a giant mannequin. We'll check the bed. It's not the time to take a nap, isn't it? Feels like the time. Oh, cute necklace. I took it. Incredible style. Added something to your wardrobe. Cool. I don't think I can use this. All right, fine. <coughs> I think we already completely looked at... Oh, there's a giant cross on the wall right here. This one was easy. Found a cross. Great. Uh, hello? What happened? I guess we'll never know. What is this? Now, this guy looks angry enough. Oh, he is a pissed off man. What is that, Jesus Christ? It's not the time to take a nap. That's obviously not what I was interacting with, but I appreciate the initiative. Just some clothes my dad would wear. Why are we here? Are we actually... If we've already moved in, what are we doing? What is this? A woman behind bars. Weird taste and decor. Found a woman behind bars. Sometimes you just gotta get a woman behind bars. Okay, this is unusual. I don't know why they refuse to put the texture on that wall. Probably because of the fixed camera angle. Okay, we'll come on through here. We should have virtually everything. Okay. Fine! Oh! Oh, he's in the corner of the room! Ooh! Spooky! This game is... Uh, it's charming. I do actually really like it. Oh, I see a thing on the wall just in here. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take whatever this is. Some random woman with a baby. Okay. There is a little footstool here. I can use this to reach high places. Hey, all right, so I bet we go into the kitchen now. Oh, that thing is in the hallway. I hate that. What is that, like a cat? Yeah, no problem here. Okay, where is the high place? Freezer? Is there anything to eat? Guess not. No. Is there anything to eat? Guess not. Who needs to eat? Use the wooden stool to reach the cupboard. Nice! We found a cross. Okay, what an unusual sound effect for that. Okay. Where in the devil am I supposed to be putting myself into? So I got the little confirmation of the piano key. Oh, there is a door at the end here. This is different. Is this a secret room that I was elucidated to earlier? Oh, I've arrived at the labyrinth. Oh my god, what the hell? What the hell? Oh, oh my god, that actually just scared me. I think that's supposed to be a mirror. Ah! Ah! Creepy! Take a screenshot of that. She's just happy to be here. Oh my god! Oh, I hate this! There are so many mirrors! I think there's another one right here as well. Uh, that's a, that's a mirror as well. Okay. We'll go around these mirrors, I think. Oh! Hello there, me? I literally just ran it myself. I think I pooed a little bit. I pooed a little bit in my, in my, in my undies. Oh well, game's a game, right? What's a game without pooing yourself a little bit? Okay, we can gain a little bit of traction over here. This is a long-ass walkway. I don't like this. Is that the objective right there? Across? Okay. Uh, I think this is actually the objective. Only two left! Great. This is actually really, really cool. To take a game that already set the precedence of being a third-person game and then making it first-person and giving you a hallway of mirrors is very clever. I love, I kind of actually love this. I really vibe the vibe that this game has got going on here. What else are we looking for? Probably more crosses, right? Just, oh my God, that scared me again. That's us, which means we could probably go down here a little bit. It's us. That is also us. Are we looping? Oh my God. Ah! Oh, why? <laughs> hey, why? <laughs> why? That one was a really bad one. <laughs> there's not even anything happening. It's because there's a giant smile on our character model. I keep assuming that it's not actually... Ah, oh, perfect cross. I keep assuming it's not actually us. Only one left. Yay! Okay. Let's go ahead and find the last one. Hopefully, without blowing another hole in our underpants. You know the moments where you kind of like... You, you, you fart so hard that you... Uh, the door is locked. I'm still missing some crosses. You fart so hard that you blow a hole in your undies that it, it, it physically rips the fabric of space and time in your underpants. Actually, the brand of underpants that I'm wearing right now is called Puma, so <laughs> Puma undies. 
<laughs> oh, don't mind if I do. I'm surprised we haven't had a jump scare from something other than ourselves. Honestly, like I'm vibing this. This is actually really, really cool. It's also got Steve Steam achievements, not Steve achievements. I haven't talked to Steve in ages and I doubt he'd give me any achievements to go and chase in this game. I doubt Steve has even played this game. I didn't even know this game existed until Steam was all like, hey, new release for you. Maybe you'd like this free horror game that just came out. And I checked it out on Steam and I was like, you know, I probably would actually really like that. I'll give it a go. Thank you, Gaben. I'm kind of getting used to the weird ethereal feeling of this this accursed place. Can we just like interact with ourselves? Hello? Bonk, bonk, bonk. One more cross. Or a pissed off Jesus, I literally cannot tell. The last one. Nice. Okay. By the way, if anyone ever wants to solve a maze guaranteed every single time, just hug one of the walls and do not uh, kind of like lose track of which wall you are hugging. Because as soon as you change, there is the potential to get yourself caught in a loop. And as long as the exit to the maze isn't directly in the middle of the maze, you will eventually find both the entrance and the exit. It does work. I just used this principle in Cry of Fear to beat what everybody had called probably the most frustrating level in that game. Now, it does take a while. There are obviously more efficient routes that you can take in maze traversal. Oh my god! <laughs> it was us again. We frightened ourselves. Again. Ah! Is this the start? Let's see. The door is open. This may be the start. Ooh. Beyond the rental house, arrive at the ritual circle. Okay. This is... Weird. AF. This is really weird. AF, I think. We've arrived in the nothing. And I could not be more confused. I am literally made of questions. What? What is it? Ah, okay, cross goes there, obviously. How could, how could I be so stupid? Looks like I'm, I can perform the ritual here. I should place all the stuff I have in a circle. Okay, I'll do that. I'll put that one there, that cross. I'll put that candle there. I'll put that cross there, obviously. Another cross here. And another one there. Obviously, I'll be putting crosses all over the place. And a candle? No. Just a pissed off Jesus. Yeah, yep, cross goes there, perfect. And that should be everything. Looks okay, no. Everything is placed. What should I even say? That useless man just disappeared on me. Okay, here goes nothing. Uh Klatu Verata <coughs> There! I have said the words! Perica! Perevala! Poripina! Perpetua! Oh, there's that thing. There's that ghost. But why? He big. He's also a rabbit. Or she. We just don't know. Hello? That's you me? Uh. Seems like the rental man is not here yet. Might as well unpack what we can. Uh. Oh, never mind. The door is open. Could you go check? I don't think we should go inside the house. The end. Finish the first first run. Ooh, first run. Okay, we're gonna try the game again, all right? We're gonna go back in and we're gonna see if there is actually like a new game plus feature because if there is, I will uh, further crap myself with joy. <laughs> Rental. The second run. Let's talk to our family again. What do you think, Umi? It's not too shabby, okay? And bro over here. Did you wanna play with me? No. Okay, and mother, mother. The door's open. Could the rental man already be here? Yes? Do they have anything else to say? If you pay close attention, you can hear the ocean from here. I can't hear it. All right, that's fine. Change your mind? Uh, no. Mother? Could you check for him inside while we unload the car, dear? He's got to give us the keys. What a nice vacation we're going to have. Oh, I just got an achievement for speaking to my family twice. Now, I did just look at the Steam achievements, and I know that, for a fact, there are a couple of Chivos that are kind of fiddly to get. One of them is for beating the game, I kid you not, in 10 minutes. All right, here we are. We are going to gap it into the house. I'm not going to talk to my parents. We just want to finish the game in 10 minutes. Done. We don't want to waste any time. Who closed the door? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares who closed the door? 
That's not our problem right now. Our problem is to get to the rental man, who's just over here. Hello there, sir. How are you? I'm gonna skip all of this guy's dialogue if I can. And he's gone. And he's back. Hello. Bye-bye. Okay, good. Nothing here looks like a good place to hide. Let's get this cross off the wall immediately. Done. And we'll go all the way down here because there is a candle. Or a key. There's something in the drawer. Found a key. That's awesome. Great. We also want this footstool. I don't think there's anything in the bathroom, so we can just skip through there. And then we'll work our way from the start of the house to the end. We'll start with the candles here. Done. Just dust bunnies left in the cushions. Okay, some family. Uh, let's go up to this thing. Found two candles. Excellent. Nice. Now we'll go into the kitchen. We'll go straight up here. Good. We got a cross straight from the cupboard. What else? This is the bathroom. There's nothing in there. I don't feel so well. Oh, well. I feel like that might be kind of like an indicator of the time limit, right? We'll get this rosary right here. I don't know why we got that rosary. Use the key. Found some clothes and a cross. Excellent. Nothing left. All right. That is the room we've already scoured. And there's one last room over here. That's a pissed off Jesus. Let's take him. Done. And now we want to... Do we want to go into the drawers? No. No, we do not. So I think that might be two minutes. Right there. Let's go to the other end of this hallway for the woman behind the bars. And the door should pop up, right? There it is. Excellent. Good. Okay, so we're going to use the technique that I was using just before. We are going to hug the right wall. Oh, that scared me. That actually genuinely frightened me. Uh, nothing around here. Let's go this away. And we'll hope for the best, I think. I think I just saw uh, one of me disappear, which is a little bit weird. I uh, kind of want to skirt all the way around here. Maybe we'll find something. Maybe we won't. All the way down here appears to be a cross. Perfect. So that's one. One cross. Yoink. Only two left. Excellent. That is what I like to see. Okay. I think we're pretty good on time at the moment as well. So we'll just continue along using our little technique here. We'll check down all of the nooks and crannies regardless of whether or not we are actually going to commit to go down them. But for now... Do I see one? No, I do not. But now we should be fine. I do see another one right here. Excellent. Let's take it. Only one left. Perfect. Let's go ahead and go all the way down this away. Is this a dead end? Yes, sir, it is. Okay. We don't want to be down that dead end whatsoever because we don't want to be dead. That is uh, exactly the logic that I'm going to be using to rationalize that. Okay, we'll come around here. Still hugging the right wall. Can't go that way. I feel like this labyrinth here is supposed to actually be the bit that takes up the most time, I suppose. I wonder why the character in the mirror is smiling as well. I wonder if that's supposed to be a demon stalking us. Because it could very well be. It could actually very well be a demon stalking us. That is us, okay. Nothing else down here, it seems. Do we just get blocked out of this area? Is this maze changing? I feel like I remember going down here already. Okay. We are at another dead end. I'm certain of it. I'm gonna come down here. Come down here. Now, I am pretty sure there was another path that we could take kind of to the left here. We could go this way and see what we come across. That is a dead end. I actually think I recognize that dead end too. I don't think we went this way. I think we may have derailed ourselves a little bit and then ignored this little branch here. Okay, good. That's gonna be a dead end. We wanna go down this little route here. Excellent. Nothing down there yet, but we will have to go down it at some point anyway. Still looking around. This is probably the hardest part of the game, honestly, is navigating this horrible mirror maze. Okay, good. Nothing down here. What is that? Is there something through here? No. I'm gonna back it up a little bit and we're gonna go down here. I see a cross. There it is. Gorgeous. That's what I'd like to see. The last one. Beautiful. Okay. Where else are we going? I'm still gonna keep on hugging the right wall because I do think that that is the strategy to get us exactly where we need to be. I'm also not gonna, there we go, nice. 
So hugging the right wall does actually work perfectly. You don't even encounter the door before you encounter anything else. All right, let's keep on charging through. Okay, we'll put that there. We gotta put all of these in kind of like a circle, don't we? Uh, where's the rest of us supposed to go? Here, here, here. Okay, I kind of see the, the vague arc. Do I hear the Halo theme in the background? Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice! We got it! Short term rental, complete the entire game in less than 10 minutes. Yeah, baby! Speed run! That feels really good, actually. I like that. Okay, so the technique does work. If anybody actually wants that achievement, it's not particularly difficult. You need to know where everything in the house is in the first place. That's not so hard to get. And then, once you get to the maze, hug the right wall, you come across every single cross before you encounter the door. If you go left and hug the left wall... Oh! Umi, are you listening? I said the seaside fog is getting denser! Did you see? We're almost there! You get different endings. That's kind of cool. The End. A game by Lonely House. Okay, there's only one thing that we need to do to 100% this game for the Steam achievements, and that is to go back into here and interact with literally everything in the house, which I wouldn't necessarily call an achievement. It's just a scavenger hunt. No problem here. No problem here. The window looks kind of low budget. That one specific. Hey, we did it! Nice, we interact with everything. So, that is the entire game 100% done and dusted. I think the story is pretty cut and dry. I'm pretty sure that the story is literally as simple as you've entered a creepy house, there needs to be an exorcism performed, and whether or not this is actually happening is completely subjective. This could also be kind of like a daydream of a child's anxiety to be moving into a new location, which I personally have related to many, many times in my life. So, with that all being said, thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for the little one and done spookers that I've made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you are going to find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community whenever you damn well please. And of course, until I make the next episode or you catch my live streams, I will see you in the next one that I make. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye!